Hello Zendies, Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. Welcome to 31 days of Zen, the October project on Nate Square. Hello, I'm Sandhya Manne. I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos that I post here throughout this month of October. It's day 11 today. We have successfully completed 10 projects. Um, so I will be using a day 11 string from the Ornate string template. You can still join the fun by logging on to www.samyamanestudio.com slash ornate square and uh, get started. Um, you can also check out all our previous projects from the playlist Ornate Square. So um, let's get started. Go grab your supplies and on to tangling now. Okay, so here we are with our string number 11. So this is string number 11 on our Ornate Square template. So you can get this template uh, by logging on to www.sandhyamanestudio.com slash Ornate Square. And uh, it is available at a very reasonable price of $10 or INR 750 and um, so this is string number 11 from that template. Um, so our supplies for today are 0, 01 black micron, a PN black micron, uh, 0, 01 brown micron and a 0, 05 brown micron, a white jelly roll pen, pencil, white charcoal pencil and the respective stubs. So these are our supplies for today's session. Now let's get started. So we're going to start with um, a, brown, a black 01, sorry, black 01 micron. Um, and uh, we are going to start with this tangle called La Flower. So La Flower is a beautiful, um, it's a very beautiful tangle. So we start with a circle right here, right inside. And we're not, we're not going to ink this yet. And I'm going to start with a little loop like that. So we're going to make about five of these. Okay. And then going to pull out a line right from that point and kind of end it just below the first loop that we had. So something like this. Now I'm going to repeat this again on the other one. So we're going to work um, on all of these simultaneously. So we, we do this, we go around adding this for all of these lines. So now I'm going to pull out another one. Now this is going to be slightly shorter than the previous one. Okay, so I'm making my third set. So this is going to be even shorter. Okay, so like that. So now I am going to add uh, or rather ink this circle. And now um, I'm going to ink uh, the entire floor of flower that we have. So 
let's go around doing this Okay, so now let's get to this inner petal, the first set. Um, so I'm going to use um, brown 01 and we're going to do this fragment called B13. So this goes like this. I, I just start with a dot right in the center. I'm going to pull out lines from all three corners like this. Okay, so now we're going to work with brown um, 01 and we're going to work in this inner section so we're going to uh, this is uh, fragment b13 and it goes like this so we start with a dot right in the center and pull out a line from three corners to the center like this and then we're going to aura create aura lines like this Okay, so let's do this. Take your time to do this. Go really slow. Nice straight lines makes this really look pretty. So, it's about three, four of those. Depends upon how much space you have. Uh, but I think you should be able to pull out about three to four aura lines. Okay, so here it is all done now let's get to the second layer so here we're going to do this fragment called J2 um, it's a beautiful fragment so I am going to um, make a band so I'm going to make it slightly lower than this um, this corner here so slightly lower than this and another line slightly above and then we're going to give an aura line to this and an aura line to this and then I'm going to use my uh, brown brown 01 and we are going to add circles like this So I'm going to go around, I'm, I'm going to go around first making the bands and then I'm going to make the, the circles inside. So I am going to use black to make my circles and then maybe the filling up I'm going to do it with brown because I like the way the black shows up. So let's do that. So I'm going to add my circles with black pen and then we'll go ahead and add brown for the fillings. Okay, so take your time to do this and uh, once you're done adding the circles add the brown as the filling Ok, 
Okay, so here it is all done. Now I'm using my um, ticker tip pen black, pen black, and we're going to fill black inside of this section. Okay, so both top and bottom. So I'm going to go around adding this in um, rest of the petals. Okay. Okay, so here it is all done. Now we'll get to this part, this outer petal part. So here I'm going to use my uh, 01 brown. And we're going to do diva dance. Okay, so I'm I'm just going to kind of start off somewhere here and then have it play uh, around. And I'm going to try and change this for each one of it. So say I'm going to start from here. Okay, so I'd like to go around and keep adding some bumps and then continue. So I'd like to uh, make sure that the bumps don't um, come on the same line. So I'd like to alternate them. So like that. So I'm going to go around doing this like here, I'm just going to start off like that. So I'm not really making a spiral, I'm just kind of pulling some lines out like this and making sure I add those bumps as I go along. So now here again I'm going to add my um, spirals, so I'm changing the direction. So it's kind of the same thing but not quite same. Okay, so like that. So I'm going to go around adding Diva Dance on the rest of them. Okay, so here it is all done. Add a Diva Dance all around. Now in this, in this border, we are going to do, um, we're going to do Snail uh, with black micron, 01 micron. So I'm going to start from here and touch this bottom line and then just make a spiral and I'm going to start my next one right here and this one goes like this okay 
So I'm going to repeat the same thing on, on this side as well. So we're making spirals from outside in. So we start from the outside and then we spiral in. So I'm going around adding like that. Okay, so here it is all done. Now we are going to go back in and add some circles, these gaps here. So I'm also going to go around um, adding black in these tiny gaps. So just going to give it a fine finish. Okay, so I'm going to take my time to go around adding black there. Okay, so here I've added black in those centers and it's done now. Now let's get to these corners. So here I'm going to make crescent moon like that. So I'm going to make a nice big circle. Okay, so I'm going to start with a circle and some petals like this. So we're doing all this in black. Okay, so I'm going to do this on all of these um, crescent moons.
but we are just going to continue adding it like that and now here I'm going to use my brown pen to add um, brown here Okay, and then I'm going to use my black pen to um, just add some fun details. Okay, so I'm going to go around doing this. So I'm going to start with my um, black 01, give orders. One, two, I'm going to do this here. Okay, so we're going to fill this and then I'm going to go ahead and add my lines here. Okay, so take your time and go around doing this on the other two sides as well. so here it is all done now here under around um, the center triangle la floor i am going to add black i will use my ticket tip pen and we're just going to add black here Okay, so take your time to do this. Okay, and we are going to just on one side. Uh, pencil like this okay so let's go around adding this I'm just gonna make this slightly more darker
right we're done um now inside of this we're going to work like like pearls So here I'm going to use my white uh, pen and uh, we are going to add some dots here. And then of course inside this as well. Okay, so take your time to do this. Okay, so here it looks all fun. Now let's get to our final layer. So again here I'm gonna add my pencil just on one side. I like this like a L shape. and we're just going to blend this and then I'm going to use my white on the other side just to give it a highlight okay so I'm going to go around doing this on the rest of them do you see how this just comes to life this looks so flat, these two look so flat, and then this side it's just coming to life. Shading just makes it so much beautiful. It is all done. Now let's get to snail. So for snail, I'm just going to go around like this. Okay, and I'm also going to add my pencil right here, the top. so it almost feels like we are carving them out of the page so it really looks so three-dimensional okay so that is done now I'm also going to add my pencil outside of this
Okay, so I'm just gonna go over here and make this part slightly darker. Okay, so let's go around adding pencil here on this side. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little pearl here as well. Okay, so I'm also going to go around adding pencil along with this, this petal. Okay, and I'm also going to use my white pen. Just go over it, just make a line like that. Okay, so here it is all done. Now let's journal this. So let's first put our initials. Um, so I'm going to do it here. Okay, there it is, all done. Now let's journal this. So it's 11 October 2021, Ordnance Square. This is day 11. And we started off working with um, La Flor. And then we did um, Fragment. D13. Fragment. J2. And then we did Diva Dance. And then we did Snail. And we did Crescent Moon. So we've been, we've used a whole bunch of triangles for this particular time. So there it is, all done. Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group, Zenly, where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenlies. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sanya Mane or hashtag Tangle with Sandhya. So get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. 
A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, check out my website www.sandhyamandinstudio.com for workshops, courses and memberships. Now it's time to comment so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also it's time to show some love so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. To join the Ornate Square um, the October project all you need to do is log on to www.sanyamanestudio.com slash Ornate Square. I shall see you tomorrow with project number 12. Until then remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste. Thank you.